A concept that's relatively new to me in image editing is selective masking. In this video, we're going to have a look at the drawn mask, which allows you to select set shapes or freehand drawing to certain parts of your image. Exposure masking for me has been very, very useful. In this first image, we have a problem with back focus. So we're going to use a drawn mask around the subject of the image to see if we can salvage it. This is a medium format film scan. So I'm using the Negadoctor plugin to invert it and do a basic color adjust before I start. With any module that supports masks, you'll find all of the tools you'll need under the pencil icon. Selecting the Add Path tool will allow you to freehand draw any shape that you like on the image. So in this case, we're going to draw around the subject. Once you've drawn your path, you can complete it by right-clicking. This is a bit of extreme sharpening, but the image seems to be handling it really well. One thing that this amount of sharpening will do is bring out all of the dust on the negative and really expose it. So I'll have to spend some time in Glimpse just uh, cleaning it up. Just going to speed through a little bit more color touch-ups here. and a crop and an export. The next image is a digital shot from my GH4. I'd like to keep the amount of window detail and still be able to raise, raise the exposure a little bit and you'll see pretty clearly that I don't have a lot of leeway there, so we're going to add a drawn mask. Using the scroll wheel will make the path itself larger or smaller, and you'll also notice that there's an outer rim, another path on the outside, and that controls the rate of fall off of the effect that you're applying. You can control its size by pressing the shift key and using the scroll wheel. That will bring it closer or move it further away from your path. The edges of your selection can be controlled in dispersion and softness hardness by using the feathering radius bar. Just a small amount of an exposure boost around the subject's face lets us see the subject better and we get to keep the detail everywhere else in the image. And once, once we've done that, then we can play with uh, the brightness and contrast settings versus uh, exposure. This is a similar situation where we want to preserve the window detail, but we also need more light on the subject. This image actually allows us to get a better look at the feathering radius as the edges on the drawn path are fairly noticeable. I hope you found this video useful.